Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Ian is a Weirdo. Today we're going to be doing a crochet gift guide. Um, I'm going to focus solely on gag gifts and silly gifts because I'm a silly, weird person. And um, as I was thinking of these, I thought of a lot of really dirty ones. And I was like, I wanted to make a kid-friendly version. And I was like, should I do all of them in one video? And it just didn't feel right to put like, kid stuff next to dirty stuff, if you know what I'm saying. So this is just kid-friendly um, projects. So the first part of it will be kind of plugs for me, um, even though, even if you don't use my pattern, it's maybe a pattern that I have or something like that. Um, and then I tried to like do like an age progression up um, of what you could do with uh, these projects. Now I'm going to link as many projects as I can below, um, but uh, some of them are just like suggestions and like you can create your own pattern. Um, I definitely don't think that all of these uh, necessitate buying a pattern or buying, you know, like I think some of them you can figure out yourself if you're a little bit more experienced in crochet. So to get started, I will... Um, start with one of my newer creations, which is the Mooning Grinch. So this Grinch is bent over, showing you his rear end. I just think it's hilarious. Um, I did, I wrote a pattern on this. Um, to do this pattern, you need a 22 or 24 um, pin knitting machine. And then I crocheted details um, throughout his little body. Um, so all of those are optional, um, but, uh, having the knitting machine definitely helped. So this little Mooning Grinch is my number one thing. I just wanted to show it off. I think it's so cute. You can't tell me that those little butt cheeks aren't cute. But that, the age progression thing starts later on. So the next thing we're going to focus on is a toilet paper score. This is super easy. You can use any stitch you like. Um, and I'm going to show you what my toilet paper uh, scarf looks like here, hopefully. And um, then uh, you can make it however you want, or you can make it like I did with the V-stitch. Um, V-stitch is faster. Um, it's not as thick as dense as warm, but it definitely gets the job done. And it's still a warm scarf. Um, you can make it any length you like. This is good for any age. Just a funny gift um, to be like, here's some toilet paper. Um, you bring it to them all wrapped up, looks like a roll of toilet paper, and they unroll it, and it's a scarf. So um, I had a lot of fun making this and designing it. It really doesn't take a lot of skill to do it. Um, so uh, just, you know, crochet a little bit, roll it up, see how it looks. If, if you want more black or more brown or more white, just keep on doing it until you feel good about it. Um, but I sell my scarf on my Etsy store, so that's what that looks like. Um, I didn't write a pattern down because, again, it's pretty, I think, self-explanatory. Um, the next thing is my happy pills or chill pills. Um, I've seen these all over the internet. Um, I definitely think that there's versions on YouTube. Um, basically, all you do is is crochet a flat circle to the um, to the you know circumference uh, that you want, and then you uh, crochet straight from there, and then you close it up with a flat circle. So it creates a nice little pill. You can split the color. You can put a face on it. You do safety eyes. If you do safety eyes, make sure those are really in there. There's a lot of techniques on how to make sure your safety eyes don't move. You can also hand embroider it, then you don't have to worry about it. So that's my, those are my plugs. And then now let's get started with the rest of the list. Our next item is so cute. I can't even believe it. I do think that you could probably create this pattern um, for any size, um, even though the pattern is made for newborn size. Um, I don't even know if you necessarily need to buy the pattern, depending on your skill level. Um, but it is a plunger baby beanie. It is so cute. A toilet plunger. It's so cute. So funny. 
especially for babies because they lie down most of the time so you don't really have to worry about like you know the handle flopping around otherwise you might be able to reinforce it with something um and uh so someone could wear a toilet plunger on their head hilarious um making babies look stupid is so funny um so your friend has a new baby bring this over you'll be the life of the party no doubt so the next thing is an elf, like elf accessories. Um, so they're baby booties um, that look like little elf feet and then a, you know, long kind of Christmassy hat. Um, I just think these are hilarious. Uh, I think, again, making babies look stupid is just funny. Sorry. <laughs> um, and there is a free YouTube tutorial on it, which I think is great. I try to get as many free things as possible. Um, but I really just, like, wrote down a list of, like, a hundred things, literally, like, that many, and picked out which ones were kids-friendly, and then tried to find them on the internet. So, if I could find a free version, I did. So, this next one, also hilarious. So, this is a, um, hat and baby, baby hat and cocoon, um, combo, uh, you do a basketball for the beanie, and then you have a net for the cocoon. Oh my gosh. Whoever thought of this needs a slow clap, because this is good. I do think that you can make this without this particular pattern. Um, uh, just make an orange hat put some black lines in it um, that look like basketball lines, and then use any kind of net pattern for the um, cocoon. You'll probably want the cocoon uh, holes, like the, the net holes, to be smaller at the base so they don't get any little baby toes stuck in there. But, oh my goodness, I can die. It's so cute. And again, I'm going to try to link these in the bottom. So the next is for really any age, but I just thought it would be hilarious on a little baby. Um, so this is called um, Oma's Curler's Hat, and it is a crochet pattern by Sarah Sash, and um, it is free, and you can make a beanie, again, any size. So this is made for an adult, but you can just adjust your measurements to be newborn, baby, child, toddler, like, teenager, adult, whatever. Um, and then you put foam rollers in there. Um, you just want to make sure it's not a, a choking hazard for your, for whoever is wearing it. Um, and you make it look like an old lady with curlers in her hair. You could even do a young lady with curls in her hair, a young person, who cares? Um, just hilarious, just really funny. I love seeing innovation like this. I've seen this hat in several places. I don't know if this is the original one. Probably isn't just, just with statistics, but um, it's just cute and funny. Um, and you can get those at the dollar store, those foam rollers. So the next really inspired a lot of creativity in me. Um, so obviously this hat, this is a clown hat um, on uh, Etsy. And um, they made it where it was like skin toned and then they put hair um, on the side and on the eyebrows and they did a clown nose. I think you can do this in any size. I also think you can extend it to being like an old man like hat with like hair just like in this little ring right here um, and do like really big eyebrows. Something like that. I, th I think that you can really go wild with this pattern or something like this. I don't necessarily believe you need to buy this pattern to be able to do this because I don't think there's anything specifically like unique about this. So this would be hilarious on any age. So next, I'm thinking about naughty kids and uh, naughty babies and like uh, and stuff like that. And um, I came across this Grinch um, pattern for, uh, I guess, overalls and a hat. Again, I don't know if you need a pattern. If you've made, like, baby, uh, like, overalls before, it's pretty much the same pattern that you would always use. Um, like, I know I've made, like, 
bag of days uh, houndstooth um, baby overalls and so I feel like I could be fully equipped to kind of just whip this out however I wanted to but the pattern is available if you want to make it you could also make it in additional sizes but let's be honest everything's cuter when it's on a baby so if you have a little grinchy grinchy baby um, or your friend does, uh, this would uh, be a great uh, funny gift. Now let's say your baby's a little bit more rotten than the Grinch. And we have our next one. This is a devil baby outfit for your little devil, for the little devil in your life. Um, so this one is a, pr the, the, what I'm going to show you is a um, pre-made uh, finished product being sold. But I don't think that there's anything in particular that, um, like, you can't find, like, bits and pieces of on the internet, like how to make, uh, like, diaper cover, how to make, you know, the triangle for the tail, how to make, like, a devil beanie. I think you can find all those pieces for free on YouTube. I don't think that you need, and this isn't even a pattern, so you wouldn't be able to use it, but, um, but it's just so freaking cute, and... Um, I just, it makes me smile. So, next we're getting into plushy territory. So, I think crochet cryptids are just super fun, and these immediately popped out to me. But there are tons of patterns for any cryptid, any weird, um, uh, kind of, uh, you know, animal or creature out there. And like a baby and a, ch a child doesn't know the difference between something that's supposed to be scary and something that's not supposed to be scary, um, which you'll kind of notice later on in this. Um, but they're just fun. They're really cute. They're perfect for every age. But, you know, babies love plushies, kids love plushies, and then you get to enjoy corrupting America's youth or wherever you live. Like, that's a pro to me. So, in that vein, um, I was thinking just, like, making any kind of horror lovey. Um, loveys are blankets with kind of, like, half of a stuffy um, attached in the center. So, I found this really cute pattern for a Pennywise um, one. But you can use any horror figure you want. Um, and you can really freehand this. Um, just kind of make a ball for the head. Um, and you can just go buck wild. Um, so this is one pattern, but there are many ways you can approach this particular prompt, I guess. Um, so I just think this is super fun. And if you look at this pattern on Etsy, um, in like the similar section, like there's a bunch of different horror, um, like there's like a, a ghost face and scream and stuff like that. All of those, super fun. And again, babies don't know to be scared of it. So they're, they're going to have the time of their lives snuggling up to that. And you're like... <laughs> so these are more like gag gifts for the parents. Because the parents get it, but the, the kids don't. Um, so the next one, um, we're going from uh, like mm, pure evil intentions to maybe just like slightly evil intentions. So this is a pattern for a Shrek bucket hat. Um, it can be made for any size, um, newborn to adult. Um, I believe this is a adult size, but you can just adjust the numbers, um, to make it yourself. It's super cute, super silly, um, perfect for smelly little babies or smelly little kids, um, who are just gross. <laughs> um, I don't know why I thought that was so funny, but I do. Um, the next one is more just like kitschy fun stuff. This is from Yarnspirations, so it's a free pattern, and it is a pizza crochet snuggle sn sack snack, snuggle sack pattern child. So um, basically, it's uh, just a piece, a slice of pizza that you wedge yourself between the crust and the toppings. Um, I've made this before, but I made it for a newborn. Um, you can make it in any size, super easy pattern to follow, and you can do whatever toppings you like on it, and it's just really freaking cute. It's just, it's so fun to make. You will have a really good time making it. 
um, if you make it. So this is perfect for, you can do one for the whole family. You can do one for the kids, um, the babies, the adults, and go watch a movie and everyone looks like they're in a slice of pizza. I don't see what could go wrong, frankly. Um, next, I, I just generally have crochet fidget toys. You, there's so many patterns out there. Um, you can really decide what you uh, want to make. Um, I picked one that I've made before, um, my brain squishies. I just think they're really fun, really great tactile experiences. They're very easy to make. Um, you can make them with scrap yarn, um, any kind of colors. You can put bells on them as long as it's not for like a baby. You don't want any choking hazards. Um, but they're really fun, really easy to make, great for people who um, are, have a lot of anxiety, stress. It's a great stress toy. Um, also great for people who are suffering from like dementia or Alzheimer's, keeping their tactile skills up, activating their brain, keeping that going. So it's just a great gift all around. Really, you could just pop out a couple of these in a day and really be done with your Christmas list if that's what you want to give people. So next is uh, just called a rainbow barf kitty. I've seen a bunch of different versions of this. Um, basically, it is a self-contained scarf. So there's kind of a bag that looks like a cat and then you pull out like a rainbow scarf and you wear it as a scarf and the, the bag part is attached to the end of the scarf. So it just looks like a barfing cat. Um, you can use any stitch you want. Um, you don't have to use the one in the video. Um, so, you know, it's just a really cute little activity, um, that you can do and I think would be just a really fun gift. Uh, next we're going a little bit more class and this is, uh, making a poop emoji. You can make it into a keychain, you can make it into a stress ball, you can do whatever you want to it. So, um, poop's funny. I'm I don't care what age you're at. It's funny. So, there you go. So, next we're kind of getting more into the nerdy kid territory. So, this is definitely not a baby project. This is for a more grown child. Um, but this is something I've seen for a while. It's just so cool. I can't even take it. But this is a dissected frog, like, pinned out on a cork board. Um, and this is a pattern for it. It is so cool. Um, I think you can take the organs out. If you can't, you can make it so that you can take the organs out. Whatever you want. Um, but uh, it's just really cool. Um, if your kid's really into science or biology, I think this would be just a really hilarious gift to give. And... I feel like this is the kind of gift that, like, if you got, you would remember for the rest of your life. Like, oh, my parent made this, like, amazing, like, um, gift for me. Like, this, I, I would never forget it if I got this. Um, uh, so the next one, not as complicated. Again, you can make it in any size. Um, and it is a brain beanie. So it's just a beanie. It can be any beanie. You don't have to make this style of beanie. But then, um, so you can use an I-cord maker. You can make an I-cord. You can crochet a tube. Like, however you want to do it, just do what makes you happy. Um, and then you lay it out like the brain. And so it looks like the brain's exposed. I've also seen it where there's like a zombie head. Um, so you do kind of like a green band and like zombie eyes, and then you have the pink brain sticking out of it. Another cool way to do it, and it's a free tutorial. So next for the nerdy kids, um, I have, uh, so this video is called How to Crochet Platonic Solids, and it's, uh, it says D&D &D Dice. So it teaches you different ways to make different um, dice for role-playing games or whatever, People use like a, a polyhedron set for um, and how to attach them because um, they're really just basic shapes and it's just attaching them all together. Um, like a D20 is just a bunch of triangles. Um, so uh, this is a, a great way if your kid plays D&D, &D, is interested in D&D, &D, 
anything like that, I think this would be super cool. They wouldn't function as like actual dice, but they would be fun to incorporate into a game. Like, hey, you're um, you're the DM, and like, and one of your players is being an idiot, and you just like chuck like a d like a like a stuffed d20 at them. Like, hilarious. Um, but anyways, uh, that's free. Uh, the next, uh, kind of in that vein, is this Cthulhu mask. And again, I'm not totally sure you need to do this particular pattern. It's a great pattern, beautiful, looks great. So if you want to use the pattern, go for it. But you could just do a ski mask um, and uh, do some curls. Um, there's tons of free tutorials on how to do curls, um, how to crochet curls. And um, it just looks awesome, uh, perfect for any size. I probably wouldn't recommend this for a baby, um, just because like that just looks like a bunch of like spit up and mess to me. But kids, uh, young adults, teenagers, adults, perfect, I think. Some of these are like gag because like they're stupid and then some of them are gagged because they're embarrassing um just so you kind of have an idea of what I was looking for and what goes on in my brain so the next one is a beard that you can attach to any crocheted hat um there are a bunch of different beard tutorials on YouTube so if you don't like the look of this one you can go find one that you do like the look of um so don't fret about that I've seen it on baby hats I've seen it on adult hats it never ceases to make me smile. It can be very gender affirming if you're like me and you're a trans man who can't apparently grow any facial hair and just grow acne. But anyways, um, so you can make this funny and be like, here's the beard because you can't it grow one. Like, you know, we all know someone who can't grow a beard and who's self-conscious about it. So why not poke fun at it if, if they would receive it well? You know, all of these are under the umbrella of like if they if it would be received well you don't want to like give like the the devil baby costume to someone who doesn't like the devil yeah okay so the next one is super easy i think it is perfect for really any level um of uh crochet expertise um, and I would suggest this maybe not for newborns and babies, but maybe older than that. And it's a clown nose. And it's a nose warmer, so it keeps, keeps your nose warm. Um, everyone has seen pictures and, or seen actual kids where you are totally frostbitten and their little cheeks are red, their nose is red. They look like the puffs, you know, mascot. And this will keep their little nose warm, and they'll look like little clowns, which is hilarious and also terrifying. <laughs> so, um, it's made in an adult size, but you could easily adjust this to be any size. Okay, so the next one, again, any size you can make this. So these are goose mittens. <laughs> they just make me laugh. Um, I don't even think you need to use safety eyes on these, but if you really wanted to, you could, because, like, the safety eyes would, like, kind of poke you in your hand, and I don't find that particularly comfortable. Um, but basically, all you do is you make a mitten, you want to make it a little bit longer, and you don't want to do any ribbing at the cuff, so you want to do a mitten, and then, like, right at this point, you just change to orange, so it's, like, white and then orange, or you could do gray and orange if you want to make it gray goose gray goose um and then you could you could i would embroider a little eye on it um i really don't think you need to buy this pattern if i'm being frank i hate i don't want to shit talk anyone i mean it looks great like these look awesome but i just like i don't feel like it's necessarily something that you couldn't make on your own um but hilarious just i mean just be like goose <laughs> i don't know um, this got kind of a little out of order, but this is also for the nerdy child in your life. If your child likes, um, The Last of Us, um, whether it be the TV show or the video game, definitely for probably more adult 
weaning children, you know, young adults. Um, but this is a clicker um, plushie pattern, and it is stupid cute. It is, I can't take it. It's so cute. Um, so I am super happy um, that I found this. Um, so I just have a couple more. Um, so the next is again for that nerdy kid in your life that loves Pokemon. And this is a Magikarp hat. Now, there are a couple different patterns on Etsy, um, so you can find one that fits your um, needs uh, and sizes. Um, so um, this one is, the one I have now is zero six 6 months to toddler sizes. So um, if you wanted an adult version, which I think would still be hilarious, um, then uh, then maybe this pattern is not for you, or you can just adjust the numbers, whatever you want. Um, I really don't think there's anything uh, looking at it specifically that you would need like specific counts for. And then finally, this is fun for the whole family, very easy to do. You can do, use a multitude of yarns with it. This is crochet snowballs. All you're doing is making a sphere um, out of yarn. Um, you can use fuzzy yarn, you can use plush yarn, you can use velvet yarn, you can use whatever. Um, and these are great for indoor snowball, snowball fights. You can take them outside, throw them around. Um, just super, super easy and um, fun for the whole family. And uh, probably not going to break anything. You still might, but probably not. Um, I think it's more likely that you will break something than the snowballs themselves, but I don't want to you know, say anything. Um, and next I had this idea and it was so simple to me, but I literally could, I couldn't find a picture of it. Um, so I just found someone who's selling them. Um, and they are lumps of coal. I mean, that's every kid's nightmare, right? To get lumps of coal, not nightmare, but you know, like that's not the goal, right? And Christmas and holidays is lumps of coal in their stocking. So this person is selling um, coal that they made, they put safety eyes on it, and um, I don't know if you really need that for lumps of coal. I think also doing a different yarn other than just black, maybe like a, a dark gray mix or a black, uh, like something like that, I think that would add like a little bit more dimension. But really, who cares? They're they're just silly gifts and they don't really need to mean or do anything. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope this helped and there will be other gift guides coming soon and they will not be kid friendly. Talk to you later.